Hi there. I am Kaylin from San Francisco Business School. Today, we will show you the hack points for SAT geometry and trigonometry, and we will show exercises for each topic as well. Geometry is the study of different shapes, sizes, and positions of different shapes based on the number of sides, angles, and so on. Whereas trigonometry is the subset of geometry that deals with the properties of one of the shapes in geometry, called triangle. In the SAT geometry and trigonometry domain, the College Board assesses the abilities of students in solving problems that focus on area and volume, angles, triangles, trigonometry, and circles. The SAT exam will have around five to seven questions from the geometry and trigonometry content domain. There are four skills and knowledge testing points in the SAT geometry and trigonometry content domain. 1. Area and volume. 2. Lines, angles, and triangles. 3. Right triangles and trigonometry. 4. Circles. Let's review each skill and knowledge point and see some geometry and trigonometry exercises for each. 1. Area and volume. Area measures the amount of space inside a two-dimensional shape, while volume measures the space a three-dimensional object occupies. Both concepts are fundamental in geometry and have numerous real-world applications such as calculating the amount of paint needed to cover a wall or the volume of water a container can hold. Calculating area of basic shapes. Rectangles and squares. Formula for rectangle. Area equals length times width. The formula for square. Area equals side squared. Triangles. Formula. Area equals 1 over 2 times base times height. Parallelograms. Formula. Area equals base times height. Trapezoids. Formula. Area equals 1 over 2 times base 1 plus base 2 times height. Circles. Formula. Area equals p times r squared. Memorize these formulas for solving SAT geometry questions correctly. Calculating volume of basic solids. Cubes and rectangular prisms. Formula for cube. Volume equals side cubed. Formula for rectangular prism. Volume equals length times width times height. Cylinders. Formula. Volume equals p times r squared times height. Cones. Formula. Volume equals 1 over 3 times p times r squared times height. Spheres. Formula. Volume equals 4 over 3 times p times radius cubed. Composite shapes and solids. For composite shapes, break them down into simpler shapes. Calculate the area or volume of each part, and then add them together. Example, to find the area of a shape made from a rectangle and a semicircle. 1. Calculate the area of the rectangle. 2. Calculate the area of the semicircle. 3. Add the two areas together. Surface area of solids. Surface area of cubes and rectangular prisms. Cube. Surface area equals 6 times sides squared. Rectangular prism. Surface area equals 2 times L times W plus 2 times L times H plus 2 times W times H. L represents length, W represents width and H represents height in this formula. Cylinders. Formula. Surface area equals 2 times p times r squared plus 2 times p times r times h, top and bottom circles plus lateral area. Cones. Formula. Surface area equals p times r squared plus p times r times l, base area plus lateral area, where l is the slant height. Spheres. Formula. Surface area equals 4 times p times r squared. Note that, some of these formulas are provided on the SAT exam as follows. 
However, memorizing them will save you time when solving SAT geometry problems in the SAT exam. SFBS Digital SAT Math Prep Through Questions Program The course was prepared by veteran SAT exam writers and 99th percentile SAT exam instructors. There are over 100 lectures, more than 500 practice questions, exercises, cheat sheets, tips, and tricks in our SAT math prep course. You can find the link to the full course in the description of this video. Unlike the usual SAT prep courses, our comprehensive SAT math prep course prepares you for all the different types of questions you may see in the actual SAT exam. If any type of question is not in this program, it will not be in SAT exam. 2. Lines, Angles, and Triangles Understanding the properties and relationships between lines, angles, and triangles is fundamental to mastering SAT geometry questions. This lecture will cover essential concepts and formulas to help solve these types of problems efficiently. Lines and Angles Definitions Point, an exact location in space. Line, a collection of points extending infinitely in both directions. Line segment, a part of a line with two endpoints. Ray, a part of a line that starts at a point and extends infinitely in one direction. Types of angles. Acute angle, less than 90 degrees. Right angle, exactly 90 degrees. Obtuse angle, greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Straight angle, exactly 180 degrees. Reflex angle, greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. Angle relationships. Complementary angles, two angles whose measures add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles, two angles whose measures add up to 180 degrees. Vertical angles, opposite angles formed by two intersecting lines, always equal. Linear pair, a pair of adjacent angles that form a straight line, supplementary. Parallel and perpendicular lines. Definitions. Parallel lines. Lines in a plane that never intersect and are always the same distance apart. Perpendicular lines. Lines that intersect to form a right angle, 90 degrees. Properties involving transversals. Corresponding angles postulate. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, each pair of corresponding angles is equal. Alternate interior angles theorem. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, each pair of alternate interior angles is equal. Consecutive interior angles theorem. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, Consecutive interior angles are supplementary. Alternate exterior angles theorem. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, each pair of alternate exterior angles is equal. Triangles. Types and properties. Classification by sides. Equilateral triangle. All sides and angles are equal, each angle is 60 degrees. Isosceles triangle. At least two sides are equal, and the angles opposite these sides are also equal. Scalene triangle. All sides and angles are different. Classification by angles. Acute triangle. All angles are less than 90 degrees. Right triangle. One angle is exactly 90 degrees. Obtuse triangle. One angle is greater than 90 degrees. Key theorems. Triangle sum theorem. The sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. Exterior angle theorem. The measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. Special properties of triangles. Isosceles triangle theorem. The angles opposite the equal sides of an isosceles triangle are equal. Pythagorean theorem. In a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. 
a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Special right triangles. 30, 60, 90 triangle. The sides are in the ratio 1, square root of 3, and 2. 45, 45, 90 triangle. The sides are in the ratio 1, 1, and the square root of 2. Congruence and similarity in triangles. Triangle congruence criteria. SSS. Side side side. Three sides of one triangle are equal to three sides of another triangle. SAS. Side angle side. Two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to two sides and the included angle of another triangle. ASA. Angle side angle. Two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to two angles and the included side of another triangle. AAS. Angle angle side. Two angles and a non included side of one triangle are equal to two angles and a non included side of another triangle. HL, hypotenuse leg for right triangles. The hypotenuse and one leg of a right triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and one leg of another right triangle. Triangle similarity criteria. A. Angle angle. Two angles of one triangle are equal to two angles of another triangle. SSS. Side side side. The corresponding sides of the two triangles are proportional. SAS. Side angle side. Two sides are proportional, and the included angle is equal. Free digital SAT math prep course. SFBS offers a free digital SAT math prep course. The course goes through a particular skill and knowledge testing point and improves your problem solving skills and test taking strategies. It provides a 35 page free part from our digital SAT math prep book. You can see the link to this program in the description area of the video. 3. Right triangles and trigonometry. Trigonometry deals with the relationships between the angles and sides of triangles, especially right triangles. Understanding these relationships is crucial for solving many SAT geometry and trigonometry problems, including those involving angles, heights, distances, and more. Properties of right triangles. A right triangle is a triangle in which one angle is a right angle, 90 degrees. The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse, and the other two sides are known as the legs. Pythagorean theorem. For any right triangle, the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides. C squared equals a squared plus B squared where C is the hypotenuse and A and B are the legs. Special right triangles. 30, 60, 90 triangle. The sides are in the ratio 1, square root of 3, and 2. 45, 45, 90 triangle. The sides are in the ratio 1, 1, and the square root of 2. Basic trigonometric ratios. Trigonometric ratios relate the angles of a right triangle to the lengths of its sides. The three basic trigonometric ratios are as follows. Sine of an angle equals opposite side over hypotenuse. Cosine of an angle equals the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Tangent of an angle equals the opposite side over the adjacent side. These ratios are fundamental in solving right triangle SAT geometry and trigonometry problems. Using trigonometric ratios to solve problems. To solve for missing sides or angles in right triangles. Finding missing sides. Use the trigonometric ratios to set up equations based on the given information. Example. If sine theta equals 0.5, and the hypotenuse is 10, then the opposite side is. Opposite side equals sin theta times hypotenuse. This yields 0.5 times 10 is equal to 5. Finding angles, use the inverse trigonometric functions to determine the measure of an angle given two sides. The Pythagorean identity and trigonometric values. 
Pythagorean identity. If sine theta equals a, and if cosine theta equals b, a squared plus b squared equals 1. This identity is useful for finding one trigonometric value if another is known. Key trigonometric values to memorize for SAT geometry and trigonometry. It is crucial to know the sine, cosine, and tangent for the angles 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. Knowing these values by heart will save you time in solving right triangle questions. Applications of right triangle trigonometry. Word problems. Trigonometry is often used in word problems involving heights, distances, and angles of elevation or depression. Coordinate geometry. Trigonometry can be used to find slopes, distances, and angles between lines in coordinate planes. Tips for SAT geometry and trigonometry problems on right triangles and trigonometry. Remember the definitions of the trigonometric ratios and when to use them. Use the Pythagorean theorem and trigonometric identities to simplify problems. Practice visualizing right triangles in different contexts, such as coordinate planes and word problems. Do you know that we have 400 plus pages of SAT math prep book prepared by veteran SAT exam writers and 99th percentile exam instructors? You can purchase it from Amazon. We've provided the link in the description area of this video. 4. Circles A circle is a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point called the center. Understanding the properties and formulas related to circles is essential for solving many SAT geometry problems on the SAT. Properties of circles Radius, R The distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. Diameter, D The distance across the circle through its center, D equals 2R. Circumference, C the distance around the circle, C equals 2 times P times R. Chord. A line segment with both endpoints on the circle. Arc. A portion of the circumference of a circle. Sector. A region enclosed by two radii of a circle and their intercepted arc. Segment. A region enclosed by a chord and the arc it subtends. Central angle an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle. Inscribed angle. An angle whose vertex is on the circle and whose sides are chords. Formulas related to circles. Circumference and area. Circumference. C equals two times P times R. Or. C equals pi times D. Area. A equals P times R squared. Length of an arc. Formula. Arc length equals theta over 360 times 2 times p times r, where theta is the central angle in degrees. Area of a sector. Formula. Area of a sector equals theta over 360 times p times r squared. Equation of a circle in the coordinate plane. Standard form. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h, k is the center of the circle and r is the radius. The standard form of a circle is a frequently occurring SAT geometry concept in SAT. Angles and arcs in circles. Central angles and arc measures. A central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. Inscribed angles. An inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. Angles inscribed in a semicircle are right angles, 90 degrees. Angles formed by chords, secants, and tangents. The angle formed by two intersecting chords is half the sum of the measures of the arcs intercepted by the angle and its vertical angle. The angle formed by a tangent and a chord through the point of contact is half the measure of the intercepted arc. Tangents and their properties. Definition of a tangent. A tangent to a circle is a line that touches the circle at exactly one point. 
Properties of tangents. A tangent is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. Two tangents drawn to a circle from an external point are equal in length. Tangent secant and tangent tangent angle theorems. The angle between a tangent and a chord through the point of contact is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. Solving SAT geometry problems involving circles. Common problem types. Finding circumference, area, or arc length. Solving for angles formed by tangents, chords, or secants. Applying the properties of inscribed angles and central angles. Word problems involving real-world applications of circles. Strategies for SAT geometry and trigonometry problems. We recommend the following tips and strategies for solving SAT geometry and trigonometry problems. Draw diagrams to visualize the problem. Use the appropriate formulas based on the given information. Check for relationships between angles, arcs, and chords. Tips for SAT geometry problems on circles. Familiarize yourself with all circle formulas and properties. Pay attention to the specific details given in the problem. For instance, diameter versus radius. Practice recognizing and applying the properties of tangents, chords, and arcs. Here is a list of exercises for geometry and trigonometry. You can see the answers and rationales for each exercise in our SAT Geometry and Trigonometry article. The link is in the description of this video. There are more practice questions in that link as well. Do you follow our social channels? We share important points about the SAT, PSAT, ACT, and college prep, formulas to remember, challenging questions, tips and tricks, strategies, and more. Follow us to stay tuned for your exam prep. We hope you liked our video. Please do not forget to hit like button and subscribe to be notified for new videos from us. We wish you happy learning.